hello guys welcome back to joe tutorial and in today's video i have a very useful and a very interesting tutorial for you i'm going to show you how to change the time for your sent email period within gmail so let me go ahead and show you this so that you can understand more right so let me go ahead and open up my gmail here no, guys, whenever you compose and send an email within Gmail, what happens is that you have a couple of seconds before the email is sent out, right? And if for some reason you want to change anything within the emails, you can easily undo or stop that email from being sent out, right? So that you can make your corrections and so forth. And that's why in today's video, I'm going to show you how to change this time so that you have a more longer time so that you can easily change whatever you want before that email literally gets sent out and you cannot do anything about it anymore so i'm going to show you what happens right so in my to field i'm going to just type drew tutorial put my email address here and i'm going to just type send right now once i hit the send button have a look to the lower left hand side where you have the notifications and you will see an undo option afterwards that shows you that I can stop that email. So have a look at this. Send, and here you will see the option undo, right? So if I click the undo there, you realize that the email stopped immediately. If I let it go, let me go ahead and do it again, leave it, you realize that the email was sent, right? And as you can see here, I received the test email, right? I'm gonna go ahead and I will just simply Go ahead and delete this message. Now I'm going to show you how to extend this time. So for me, it's a couple seconds there and I will show you how to extend it. So in order to do this, guys, all you have to do, just click the gear here on the top right hand side, which takes you into the settings. And then you want to click all settings. And then here on the general where you will see it says undo send. And this is basically showing you the time. So send cancellation period is five seconds. You have to 30 seconds to actually have your email been sent. So I'm gonna just change it to about 30 seconds there, right? And to show you how it works. Now let me go ahead and scroll all the way down and I'm gonna click on save, right? Now once this is done, I'm gonna go ahead and compose a new email here. I'm gonna write it to my Drew email again and I'm gonna just type it as test. And I'm going to just click send. See? Now, what's going to happen now? I'm going to just simply click undo. And as you can see there, the email is taken. So I have some time now. While you will see that within the inbox that the email shows, I'm still able to recall the email and get it entirely out. I'm going to show you again. So see? Let's hollow it a couple seconds there to let it run all the way out but you realize once this reaches 30 seconds guys then i'm not able to recall the email anymore for the time being it is there but after 30 seconds then it will not allow me to make any changes anymore so that i can recall the email and i think that we are almost at 30 seconds let's just hollow it a couple more seconds See, as you can see, it is gone and I cannot do anything else about that email anymore. But now you get the idea how you can go ahead and change this time. I'm going to go back into the settings here and change mine from 30 seconds to, let's say, about 10 seconds. For me, that's okay. And I will go ahead and scroll down and click save. But that's all there is to it, guys. That's how easy it is for you to go ahead and change the cancellation period for sending emails so that you can undo them and make changes to those emails within Gmail. Now guys, I really hope that you found this tutorial very helpful and if you do, go ahead and give this video a like and share your comments below. I'd really appreciate that. And if you're seeing the channel for the first time, welcome to Drew Tutorial. I'm Anjo and I really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button below to help grow this community and also so that you'll never miss out when I release another helpful tutorial just like this one. Thank you very much and see you next time.